Hey Seawolves, Chancellor Sandine here in my temporary office due to the fire in our building. But I just got off the plane from Fairbanks where I was at the Emergency Board of Regents meeting today, Monday, October 7th. And if you were tuning in, um, you note that the Regents passed three pretty significant motions today. Number one, we're no longer going forward with the single accreditation idea, at least until UAF earns its institutional accreditation from NWCCU. And that will occur in um, first of the year 2021. So we have a little breather from the one accreditation idea. In addition, the regents passed a motion to have a facilitated session to address the issue of roles and responsibilities between the statewide office and the chancellors on the institution. So that's good news. They're very concerned about clearing that up and that will be great to do. And then finally, the regents voted to suspend all of the expedited programmatic reviews. Those are the statewide reviews, those 13 groups that are working diligently to uh, complete reports by the 10th. That process has been suspended. Now I do want to point out that we're going forward with our own internal UAA expedited program review, but that's our own process that we're controlling ourselves. So we'll have more news. I want to be able to convey to you the actual wording in the motions so that you can read, but this is important news and I want to thank you for getting your thoughts out there to the regents and others. It really made a difference and most importantly, I want to thank you, faculty and staff, for your continued focus on students. Students are the reason we're here. And we need to focus on them, help them complete their classes and their degrees, and follow their dreams. That's what we do at UAA every day, and thanks for your focus on doing that.